All I would argue is really boring. Open the door. All right, guys. I don't think you guys could see me too well. It's okay. It's not what matters. Today we're talking about uh, Candy Puzzle 2020. If anybody's played this game, Candy Puzzle 2020 is basically a puzzle game, and it's not that bad of a game. However, first thing I noticed about these guys, their requirements. Look, they require a lot of access to your device. Let me fast forward. So they want to create, edit, and delete your Google Play Games activity. And they want to, what was the other one? They want to view and manage its own configuration data. It also wants to, yeah, and that's what it is. So I allowed it. I don't care. I got nothing to hide. Anyways, you choose your your stages and you're going to watch an ad after every stage. After every stage, you're going to watch an ad even if you don't want to receive the money. You could use the money to cash out with PayPal. However, you could also cash out with coins. Now, the different types of payments depends on whether you cash out with coins or with real money. More of that later. As you could, or in this case now, minimum payment is $100 for either PayPal or e-payments. I don't know what e-payments is. I've never heard of it. However, you could also see that the rewards tab is coins. So with coins, you could buy Amazon cards at a dollar. So a dollar will cost you 200,000, right? Yes, I'm right, 200,000. I'm guessing 400,000 would be two and 600,000 would be three. Besides that, legality, is it legit? Is it fake? Check the comments, please. Um, let's take a look at who makes this game. First of all, let's check, take a look at their screenshots. And as you could see, the PayPal icon, sorry, the money icon is gone. Completely disappeared. It's like they just removed just that icon because everything else is there. Interesting, isn't it? Also, the screenshots on the game were more of the level design. So as you could see, this is like a map of your levels. Why are they showing so many, so many maps of the different levels? I mean, we get it. But shouldn't you show more of the gameplay like this? There's three images of the gameplay and the rest is all maps. Anyways, let's just take a look at this game, check the reviews. Really cool game, but got to level 47. The requirements have two extra tiles that are not on that level, thus stopping me. After every completed level, you have to watch a video to get the money. Yeah, that's what I just said. This would be a bad thing, except if you push the X, you still have to watch a video. Yeah, you're going to watch an ad whether you like it or not. This is by far the worst gaming app I've ever played. Big claims of cash rewards, but after a ridiculous amount of play, earned 450 sounds great, right? Only one problem, it was impossible to cash out. PayPal assist contacting a non-existent customer support and didn't get a dime. Support didn't even reply. I've been sitting on 970 in my wallet on this game. It has been well over three months. Wow. This game is made by Happy Winning Studio. So they make Candy Puzzle 2020. They also make Candy Crossword and Block Puzzle Mania. Ooh. Where are they from? They are from Hong Kong. That's where they're from. And they have a website which is not secure. And it says, play fun games made by Happy Winning Studio. Look at that, they got a privacy policy, a terms of use, which I'm not gonna read it. Nobody wants to, pre you could probably read that on your own time. I should go over it though. Anyways, and they got a, they got a cute little website and you could actually see who the makers of these games are. So this is interesting. They actually have a uh, contact people and info. So are they legit? Is it fake? Is it real, guys? Let me know in the comments. How far have you gotten in this game? <clears throat> so I guess that's it for now. Candy Puzzle. 
was a, a decent game with a ton, and I mean a ton of ads. You're going to get a lot of ads. But you could also use coins to get Amazon and stuff. I leave this up to you guys. Let me know in the comments. Tell me what you think. Tell me what your experience was. And uh, till the next one, cheers. How I would argue is Open the doors.